Oh my god, this Imperial Scale armor alone is worth a million. I didn't realize you were considering offers. That's good to hear. Perhaps you and I, dot, dot, dot. We are considering offers. You may certainly add your name to the list. The list? There's a list of men? She just walks away. Look at her. Oh, damn, look at that. Boom. <sighs> he is very much into that. <laughs> oh, yes. They say you have traveled quite widely. Tell me a bit about your journeys. <laughs> tell me tell me when to stop, yeah? Four gold? Five gold? To marry your daughter? Six gold? Come on, I've already given you one horse. Let's let's not go crazy here. Seven gold. Eight gold. Nine? Ten? Just tell me when to stop, yeah? Welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, my friends. In today's episode, we will be crossing the borders of our northern territory into the Kuzate lands. And we'll be looking for a future wifey to marry and also some noble lords to befriend. And rather hilariously, if you choose the correct wife, and I believe we have, she's going to have some of the best gear in the entire game. For example, Lamella with Scale Skirt is the best body armor in the game and you can sell that for like a million gold the gauntlets for some reason she has imperial gauntlets they're also worth twenty thousand each and then the best horse armor is worth forty thousand one of the best helmets in the game worth 175 thousand fully equipped which is really ironic because she doesn't actually have any combat skill <laughs> Now, obviously, we'll be allying ourselves with the leader, but if you like, you could also marry into one of the other powerful clans, like the Kurgit. But their clan power is a lot less than if you marry into the entire clan, which, of course, is what I'll be doing. So let's go ahead and enter the city here. Um, and then we're going to go to the keep. And there's a few people we can speak to here. So let's actually go to the hall and we can have a chat with all the nobles See if we can worm our way in. Actually, this is a very beautiful hall. This is the first Kuzate hall I've been to. Who's this over here? Looked like they were sleeping on the throne there. Hello there. She asleep. She's actually asleep. Hello. Danny, it's been a while. It has indeed. So we have uh, a, a passive relationship with her currently. So we have a click on her. We can see here that she is, wow, she's a very skilled warrior. And she is actually the leader of one of the strongest Kuzate clans. So one thing we can do to woo her, look at her, she's so attractive. Those, those wonky eyes really get me. Would you care to pass time with a game of Pulluck? Now is not a good time. Really? Oh, look, she's gone back to sleep. <laughs> oh, god damn. So currently there's a bug in the game that you guys can take advantage of if you like. I have a proposal that may benefit us both. I am listening and then this screen comes up and you can choose you can just say gift and even if you gift her nothing she'll like you more but you know what because i'm a nice person i'm going to give her a single cow gift and then as you can see we've gained some skill points in charm which is very nice and we've also wait she has minus two relationship now how does she minus two relationship did you not like my gift of a cow that's not very nice all right, let's go and talk to the other nobles in here. Hello, Bagge. Is that your name? My name is Danny, sir. May I ask your name? Why is he so gormless? I'd like to discuss something. What do you think of your liege, Bagge? You should discuss that with my wife. Oh! Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't. Sorry, bro. I was just talking about marrying your wife. Goodness me. That's a bit awkward, isn't it? I guess I should leave. Good to meet you too, brother. So in order to find the perfect wife, we must have a look at the Kuzate clan. And we need to look at Monchug. And we have to have a look at who his family is. So his wife is Annette. And he have some children. Algin. She's 23. So she is, oh, she's a prime specimen, indeed. She doesn't actually have wonky eyes, so that's a plus in my books. She also has very good skills in stewardess and charm. And she also has a relationship too with us already. So let's track her down. She's in Makeb. Let's go over to Makeb and find her. Okay, so Makeb is down here. So annoyingly, we've actually already traveled past it. But let's just click over there and start fast traveling over to Makeb. Oh, one sec. There's actually... Oh, one sec. Mo Chang's army. Ah, fantastic. 
if he's going to attack those looters and we can help him out in the battle, then he'll like, we'll get like plus relationship with him. This is a really good thing you can do, by the way. If you scare enemies into other people's armies, like so, or at least I can, I can help corner them against. So Mokeb is in battle with the looters, and if we go ahead and help his army, we'll get plus relationship with them. So, you know what, let's just attack, because I need some combat, man. All this political nonsense, mate. Follow your sergeants! Right, let's tell our men to charge in here. Look at them all. Look at this. This is the Kuzite army. This is what I want to be... Um, I want to join them. I want them to be my friends. Oh, brother! 553 damage. Look at that. Mate, don't walk in front of me when I'm trying to kill people. God damn, yes. Kill them all, brothers. Oh. Shoot them down with arrows. Don't let them throw stones at you. Okay, they're all dead. Surprise, surprise. You have won the battle. Yes. No one was wounded either, surprisingly. You know, those looters can be a nightmare sometimes. That's still our oh, stuff back. So before we can propose marriage, we need to actually meet her daughter, his daughter. We can ask him his thoughts on politics. Well, let me put it this way. Urukan, my forefather, gave the Kuzates everything they had. They were a mangy, steppy dog, eating from the scrap heap outside the walls of the cities. He turned them into a pack of wolves. He raised his hand and cities fell, and he gave the clans land to call their own. If there's a chieftain in the Kuzates who does not like my decisions, is there one who does not want to be my Khan? So be it. So let him abandon his lands, the gift of my forefathers, and flee back to the great grass. I will not follow, I will not hunt him, but he who stays here by the land won by my forefathers, he lives under my hand. That is all there is to say. But dude, I love this guy's helmet. I, it just looks incredibly cool. Is there anything else? Can we discuss something? I'm going to give you a single coin uh, for your daughter's dowry in the future. You don't know I'm about to woo her, but you will find out soon. In the meantime, I'll just farm you for charm skill. Charming gentleman. Right, so his daughter is locked up safe and sound in the castle, so obviously I'm going to go find her now. We're going to woo her while he is off doing battles and stuff. Now, alternatively, I could actually follow his army around, and if he is going to go to a battle or something, I could join him and just help him out. Um, and then, you know, that would give me positive relationship with him as well. So, you know, that would help if I then propose marriage. But first, we have to speak to his daughter and actually meet her. Um, so let's go to the keep. Aha! Alijin. Is that how I pronounce your name, future wife? Uh, let's have a chat with you, hey? I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. They call me Daddy. Mark it down. You should be hearing of me a lot. Ha ha ha. I am Aegin of the Ukonate. I'm sure you've heard of the name of our clan in the epics of the Steppe. We carry the name. We carry the name of one of the ten sons of the great She-Wolf, mother of the Kuzates. I know your name. I hear you took the castle. Of course, I'm... There's something I'd like to discuss with you, actually. Hmm. You have piqued my interest. What do you have to say? Candidly, what do you think of your liege? No. My lady, I wish to profess myself your most ardent admirer. I know this is the first conversation we've had, but the fact that your eyebrows are kind of even compared to every other female in the game, you know, that just, that makes it for me. I need you in my life. But first, I'm going to give you a single gold coin so you know I'm serious. Why do I give you like a nine? Just give her a million gold. Oh, you know what? I'll give you two. I'll give you two gold. There you go. Whoa, my charm has increased even further. All right, then. My lady, I wish to profess myself your most ardent admirer. Yes, we are considering offers. These things are not rushed into. Okay, so I guess this is like the, the slight flirt. I didn't realize you were considering offers. That's good to hear. Perhaps you and I dot dot dot. We are considering offers. You are certain... You may certainly add your name to the list. The list? There's a list of men wishing to sleep with you? Jesus Christ. We will meet from time to time, as is the custom, to see if we are right for each other. I hope to see you again soon. Ah, well. She just walks away. Look at her. Oh, damn, look at that booty. 
I need you. I need you in my army. I need you. You know what I'm talking about, don't you, brother? Oh, God, look, he's his mouth is literally watering looking at that sight. God damn. How about you, mate? Oh, man. <laughs> he is very much into that. <laughs> oh, yes. Danny. So what is it, then? I am so glad to have the chance to spend more time together. Yes, it is good to have a chance to get to know each other. <gasps> Ooh, we get to convince her that we are a correct suitor. Oh my goodness. They say you have traveled quite widely. Tell me a bit about your journeys. <laughs> I will tell you about my journeys, don't worry. What can I say? It's a beautiful world, but filled with so much suffering. Because I have negative honor, I can say this. <gasps> Success. Success, my lady. Yes, you might be correct. Have you ever left this castle? Between your followers, your rivals, and your enemies, you must have met a lot of interesting people. Ah, 94% chance of success. Ah, yes, I've seen cruelty, degradation, and... Degenerated... I'm dyslexic, I can't say this word, but I'm a smart person. You should marry me. Yes, you wouldn't believe. Fascinating stuff, all of it, though. <gasps> success? More success? Yes, you might be correct. Why do you keep saying I might be correct? I feel like she's being super passive-aggressive here. Some people say you will go far. Suppose you were to rise to a position of power. What would you do? Oh, I have a long list of scores to settle. You can be sure of that. <gasps> Success! You might be correct. Yes, dot, dot, dot. You might be correct. She's not changed facial expression the whole conversation. I feel like I'm talking to a lamppost. Well, it seems we have a fair amount in common. Okay, great. Perhaps we can talk... More when we meet again. Then she just leaves. She like turns around to the side like, Yeah, okay, bye. See you later, mate. <laughs> what are you doing now? Are you dancing? Oh, I'm very entertained here. Fantastic. Okay, things are going well in my dating life, friends. Very well. Hopefully we won't be back in the friend zone again. Right, let's go ahead and save our game. And now what we need to do, brothers, is we need to catch up with Mukab's army. And we just need to like follow him around. And essentially help him out in all of his battles. Because then he will love us even more. And when we ask him for his daughter's hand in marriage, he'll be like, oh, of course, of course I will give it to you, Danny. I love you like a son. Uh, apart from obviously not related because that would be weird. So I think the army was kind of going off in this direction. But to be honest, we should actually check. Oh, who is Borutu? Borutu, hello there. I've not seen you before in these lands. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. I am Danny. I am Borutu. I'm going to give you a single gold coin. Then you'll remember me. Ah, yes. Barter is accepted. Oh, there's 20 looters there as well. But I don't really want to get injured right now. Oh, be careful. Be careful, looters, please. Okay, we're just catching up with his army here. You can see these giant footprints of where his army is. And I can see he's about to engage some more looters. So hopefully we can just catch up here. Oh, please let me join in. Help the army. Yes, yeah, send in troops. No one was wounded. Great. I'm herding the looters into the army, guys. Look at this. We've been following around Mukugs or whatever his name is. We've been following around our friend's army for some time. And we've also gained some good relationships with... Uh, what's her name? Who's that lady we're trying to marry? Alina Aljin. Ali Ali She's going to be our wife, whatever her name is. So we are currently heading back to Makeb and we're going to go talk to her again because it's been enough time and after like a few days you can go and chat to the nobles and you can slowly build up a relationship with them. It's, it's a long process. Furhan the Loud, the Loud gained a level. Who's this? Issa. Hello, come back. Come back, come back. I want to talk to you. Ah, my name is Danny. You don't know me? I am Issa of the Kurgit. Our clan is loyally served the Kurzite. Garnet for generation. I don't know your name, but no matter. Some say there's greater honor to be found, a great lineage, than to be born with one. Indeed, this is true. There's something I'd like to discuss. I have a proposal. I'm listening. Here you go. Mate, I have been farming up my charm skill by doing this to every single noble I meet. Everyone likes me now. It's amazing. I mean, clearly this is, like, not intended to be like this, I guess. But hey, it's going well for me. 
I visited every castle in the land and farmed my charm skill like a boss. We're almost at Makeb. Hopefully Ajin is still there. Here we are. It's night time and we're going to go to the keep and she's alone. This is perfect. So what we need to do is we need to save the game now. Because uh, we, we can't mess this up. We cannot get friend zoned. That would be terrible. This works for real life as well. Just save the game before and it will be fine. Trust me. Alijin. 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 Danny, it's been a while. It has. She looks so happy to see me. Not so sure if she's on fire or, or just happy. So then, what is it? Perhaps we should discuss a future together. Yes, well, I've been thinking about that. Really, have you? Have you really? For some reason, I just don't believe anything you tell me, Ajin. I feel like you're just trying to be nice. I need a partner whom I can trust. Well, better look elsewhere then, because I am the most dishonorable man in this kingdom. But those who are loyal to me, I am loyal to them, for sure. Success. Yes. You are happy to hear that, are you? Really? That's, that's good to hear. I think you should try and win my family's approval. I will challenge them to a duel. Indeed. And I shall win. I can only hope if they'd come to know my loyalty, they will accept me. To be fair, I'm, I'm surprised we need your family's approval. I mean, you definitely look like... Kind of like... A bit not really there in the head. So, yeah, I think your family would probably pay me to marry you, to be fair. But I kind of want the power that comes with you. So, success! I'm happy to hear that. Are you, though? Kind of have the same face expression. So, yes, I think I would be honoured. You think? Really, you think this is like a life, you know, a lifelong decision to marry someone. But um, I'm glad you'd be honoured to accept my proposal. Monchug! as head of our family, needs to give his blessing. There are usually financial arrangements to be made. Ah, oh, don't worry, I'm very good at financial arrangements. Aha, <laughs> brothers. We can jump into the fire now, because we are <gasps> out of the friend zone. Out of the friend zone, brothers, can you believe it? Fist bump, boom. He is not happy, look, he's not happy about that. He is not impressed. He did not like that joke at all. Brother, you have a funny hat, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> now we need to find where Mocab is. Mocab. Mochab. The Kuzate. And he is leader of the Kuzate, which is very good indeed. So let's go ahead and track him. He's in Yusek, which I think is a small village. Yusek, where is it? Oh, it's actually really close. Wow. Oh, wait, he's just here. He's just here. <laughs> Little did he know that I was uh, at home wooing his daughter. Do you know what? I'll kill those looters with you. As the first, you know, I'll impress you. Watch this. Surrender or die, Brigand. You'll never take us alive. I think you'll find that I will. My boy Moochug is with me. Let's go, battle brothers. Is that in there? Brother, catch this arrow. It's a gift. Oh, God, I just shot his horse in the face. A headshot. He's not going to be happy about that, is he? Do you know what? I will lance one of these looters. And I will present it to your daughter on the end of a stick. Wait, isn't that one of your men? I'm very concerned and confused. Get Rex up. 95 damage. How did he even, like, tank that anyway? I'm concerned. Get Rex up. An Imperial Militar Archer. Why is he with the looters? I gained some renown and some morale for stomping the enemy. We also got some troops. I actually got the, the very Militar Archer that I killed in battle okay, let's save the game because if he rejects us you know i don't think we can try this again until we wait for a while so let's have a little chat brother my friend my heart is glad to see you oh my heart i my heart is happy oh yeah i mean surely he doesn't talk like that come on i know he's like the leader of a tribal clan or something but isn't that taking the piss these bandits never give us much trouble but it's good practice i suppose I mean, you've got like 300 men and you're going after like teams of 20 bandits. I wish to discuss the final terms of my marriage with Aljin. Very well then. Oh, so you know about it. How do you know? I've been wooing her since you've been out at war. Oh, okay. Well, do you know what, brother? I have a few horses that I've been saving up for you. Uh, what, what are the horses of your peepee, people? A steppy horse. Okay, I have 22 of those. I'll give you one, all right? Give you one of those. How much money do you want? I feel like you want some money, you know? 
One million. I'll give you one million. He's very happy with that. He'll like definitely agree to that. Tell me, tell me when to stop, yeah? Four gold? Five gold? To marry your daughter? Six gold? Come on, I've already given you one horse. Let's, let's not go crazy here. Seven gold. Eight gold. Nine? Ten? Just tell me when to stop, yeah? Okay, 7,000 gold is a bit steep. She's not worth that much. I mean, she's essentially half a human being anyway, so... We, we can't really have that, can we, brother? I think 40 gold is as far as we can go here. Do you not agree? Okay, do you know what? I'll level with you here. I'll throw in a cow. A single cow. What do you think about that, huh? Is that, is that sweetening the deal for you? More money? You like gold, don't you? Look at him, he's getting slightly happier. You can see it in his eyes. Okay, how about this? I give you that 7,000 gold you want. You give me 600 gold back. And that's the deal. He likes that, you see. He likes that a lot, actually. 600 gold, yeah? And one cow, one cow, one cow. Oh, oh, you don't like that? I'll put your cow back then, okay? I don't need your cow anyway. You don't need my cow either, right, yeah? Deal? We got a deal? We good? We good? <gasps> We're married! Splendid! Let us conduct the ceremony then. That is a cheap wedding. Jesus Christ. We did well there, brother. High five! So that's it? Are we married now? Is there no cutscene? I was expecting a good cutscene there. What's going on then? Have I got... Is your lady in my clan? Oh, look! There we go! Look at her! She's got a steward skill of 100, a barter skill of 80, and also a charm of 120. She's a charming girl. And now we have an eternal alliance between us and the Kuzates, which are, if you have a look on the map, one of the strongest kingdoms right now. It's really the Kuzate, the Southern Empire, Batanians and Valadians are really the strongest. But Kuzates are probably like the second strongest kingdom at the moment and we've just married into them. Yes, battle brother. My friend, my friend. So what is it then? Right then, brother, I'm going to go back to Macab and I'm going to see my future wife because uh, she can get in my party now and she can come and manage one of my settlements, eh? To the keep, your highness. So, what a wedding. I look forward to a happy married life with you. Don't we all? But let's be honest, you're never going to see me. I'm going to put you in a castle and you can manage it and uh, then I'll take another wife across the seas. About your position... <laughs> I'm joking. I want you to join my party. Mm, you have piqued my interest. What do you have to say? Join my party. I will be honoured. See you outside. Alright? I need to give you some proper armour because you look like a, an absolute Sasquatch at the moment. God damn, yes. She's mine now, boys. How jealous those guards are. Look, he's angry. He doesn't like... Oh, we have relationship too, but he looks very Al pissed off. With Algin. Wait, she has incredible armor. Tier 6. Lamella with scale skirt. That's like the best armor in the entire game. 52 armor in total. Lamella shoulders. I don't think those are the best shoulders, but they're still like one of the best Kuzite faction shoulders. Why does she have decorated imperial gauntlets and lamella plate boots? She also has an imperial scale barding, like the best horse armor in the game. And piercing arrows. Not the best bow. Decorated saber. Eastern noble helmet with neck guard. I mean, that makes sense. But Jesus Christ, her stuff is literally worth millions of gold. We have married into richness, my friends. Now, I also know there are many of you following this playthrough who are kind of interested in the ongoing storyline we have. And another target of this episode was to go around all the other kingdoms and find different nobles that kind of didn't really like the current faction they were in, so I could then recruit them to my own faction. So what I've done for the last two hours is I've actually increased the size of our kingdom. As you can see, another five different clans that have joined our kingdom. Each one of them has one, two, three, four, about four members, aside from this one, who only has Vip on, and he's on his own. Um, and we literally just went around and recruited these people. What I did in order to find these people is I went to the Kingdoms tab, like so, and then I went, for example, to the Western Empire just here. And then here you have some factions that were clearly not part of the Empire when the game began, like the Beni Zilal. So if we click on them, 
you can see this is their faction leader. We can click on him and we can see where he is. Now I actually have a relationship free for him. So I could actually go and find him in the game and ask him to join my faction and he might actually be interested instead of fighting for the Empire. So what I actually did was I grew my whole kingdom by quite a few people. Now the future plan here, because I know many of you are going to be interested, is since I own every single city and castle that Sturgia used to own and also one of the Empire's castle just here, I can't really take much more land without kind of allowing other AIs in my kingdom to control it. So what the plan is now is that we're going to attack the Northern Empire. And when I attack these castles, I will probably, I guess, let the AI vote on who gets it themselves. And then hopefully I'll be able to build up an actual proper kingdom with other AI clans managing the different areas of it. So if you want to follow the next episode, that's essentially what we're going to be doing. I decided to kind of cut it out. There was like three hours of unedited footage, which was just me walking around the kingdom, persuading people to join my kingdom, doing quests for them to build up relationship. And it was a little bit boring to watch. So I kind of wanted to like cut down this episode to make it more exciting and interesting and just explain to you what happened at the end. I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, I want to kind of keep this sort of a precise, fun, interesting let's play where something actually happens at each episode and we're not just like walking around herp derping everywhere. So if you guys want to watch that next episode, subscribe, press the bell icon also, and then YouTube will let you know as soon as it comes out. But guys, thank you so much for your support and your likes on this series, man. It means the world to me. I love that so many of you are like invested in this series as much as I am even, or if not more. I'm trying to get the episodes out as quick as I can. Honestly, sometimes like six hours of recording goes into like an hour long episode. You guys just don't see some of the stuff I cut out and it can't, can look pretty quick, you know. But um, a lot of work goes into this, so I just appreciate your support. Thank you so much.